What is good, everybody? It's your boy B coming back at you with another Four Horsemen review. Some of the top strains that the New Jersey Cannabis Program has to offer. This time we are going back over to Garden State. As I mentioned in my prior video, um, they have been very active in finally rolling out a bunch of new strains across a couple of new brands um, that they launched. Um, I think they've, they've had these, or they've been working with these uh, outfits for quite some time in, I think they're in Chicago, they're, they're the MSO, um, but don't quote me on that. But at any rate, we are here to look at um, one of what I think is one of their finest strains right now on their entire menu. Um, I went over there last week and um, jumped all over this fried ice cream. This is from Lit Farms. Um, and um, although there really, <laughs> again, there really isn't much information about this strain online at all. I'm going to search it everywhere. Um, including uh, Garden State's website, which had a little bit of information, but they don't have a strain library on their website anymore. So if it's not available, you're not going to see information about the strains, which I found kind of strange. Um, so I'm hoping that they can do something about that and, and add more information about these strains too. There's, there's a lot to learn about these and um, there's uh, some really interesting um, cultivars that they're rolling out over these uh, these next weeks here. So, um, so what I wanted to do was kind of just wing this in terms of I don't really have a description to read for you. Um, we obviously do have the numbers, um, which are not posted on the New Jersey State site. What's up, New Jersey? <laughs> um, but um, I do have numbers that I can read off the label. Then we'll kind of you know jump into scoring and stuff like that and. And, you know, I mean, it'd be great to have uh, to have a full description, but, you know, this strain is just too special to not to not talk about. So um, so um, looking at um, whatever information I do have here, the lineage uh, looks like it is a combination of ice cream mints at number 13 and runts. And um, if you know about either one of those strains, they're more on the euphoric side, um, more on um, the heady, you know, euphoric slash heady kind of thing. Um, so um, I'm expecting while this is considered a, an indica by, uh, by Garden State, um, I think when you get into strains that have this kind of potency, you know, you get a little bit of the rush there too as well. So, um, so that kind of adds to the euphoria, but, um, but let me read some of the numbers, um, since the freaking writing is so small, I'm actually going to grab the container here and it looks like, um, total THC is coming. I mean, a THCA is coming in at 33.88%. They're not showing a pure THC number here that I can read. CBGA is coming in at 0.129, CBDA coming in at 0.10, CBG 0.07, no CBN or CBD detected. Um, on the terp front, it's really not screaming out a whole lot of terps other than, than limonene. Um, I mean, there's a bununch of traces of different things here, carfoline, myrcene, linalool. So there's a little bit of everything in there. Alpha pinene here I'm seeing um, a few others, terpinaline in here, which is rare. Um, so you're seeing a good combination of different terps uh, involved in both sedative and anti-inflammatory uh, analgestic properties in there. so um, so, so pretty cool to see that there. Um, and those numbers are obviously, I mean, 33.89 is uh, in that top tier. Now we're starting to see, if you've noticed, there's been more 30 plus percent strains in the marketplace. This is, while I think is a great thing, not every 30% strain is, is really great. Um, but, um, but as we'll see here in our scoring here, um, this one was definitely impressive. So, um, let me grab this nug, which is the only one left. Now, most of the buds in the in the in the jar here were were not this size, admittedly, um, but um, 
it was like, this is a nice sized nug, as you can see here. I mean, look at the color. It's very clustery. It's very, um, it's dense. It's not, not fluffy or anything. It doesn't have much in terms of purple or anything, but there's a good variance of color in there. Um, I was really pleased when I opened up the jar. I was expecting something to look a little tighter. Um, you know, while some of the strains that they still have left in the original Garden State menu were still around and I still like them, I'm not too sure that those plants are producing the quite quite the same quality that they were. Uh, so I was a little worried naturally about what was going to be coming out of out of Garden State when they decided to uh, go the MSO route. And um, while um, you know we have our opinions about MSOs. I mean, you can't deny that this is a very beautiful looking bud right here, you know, and um, it's got all the markings of a very, very, very um, top shelf sort of uh, look here. So as far as the looks are concerned, I'm going to give it a 4.75. Um, as far as the smell is concerned, um, it has a little bit of the cheese thing in there. So I'm not a huge fan of that. But there is a lot. I mean, as, as I read, there's traces of like almost every terp there. So you're going to get a, a, a mishmash of different flavors, different aromas. So um, so I was impressed with the aroma. While I'm, you know, I'm not a big fan of the cheese thing. Um, overall, I do like it. I'm going to give it a four and a half in terms of the smell. As far as the, uh, the taste is concerned, I mean, it was phenomenal. It did not taste like the smell. It lingered on your tongue for quite quite a long bit of time and um, it was really pronounced. I'm going to give the taste a 4.75. Um, was very shocked by it. I was like, wow, I was expecting to get something that was in one direction, it was in another, and I was like, wow. Um, as far as the effects are concerned, um, you know, coming in at a plus 30%, you know, you are going to get that euphoric feel on the front end. Um, this is an incredible strain, guys. I mean, I, I it was super, um, let's see, on the front end, I almost kind of just really kind of had some amnesia there for a couple seconds. It was really like a, you blew, I blew out and I was like, wow, this is really, really good. I haven't had that kind of feeling. Um, I mean, I, you know, Donnie Burger, you get it, you know, you get it with, um, you used to get it with the GMO, RIP GMO, um, but you used to get it with the GMO at, at Garden State. And, uh, but now they have this here. Um, and, um, you know, that they, while it is a hybrid, it is really heavily leaning towards, um, towards Indica. Um, if not, you know, majority indica, as you can feel it on the back end, it's all body high, all very relaxing, very uh, sedative. So this is a, a nighttime strain for me personally, even though you have that euphoric thing. It's really kind of offset by the mellowness of the the indica side of things. I'm presuming that's that's kind of maybe the the runts and the you know both of those kind of have a little bit of a straight down the middle sort of thing. So, but there's a, a ton of body high in this on the back end and that lasts forever. So, um, super impressed with the effects. Four point seven five, and as you can imagine, I'm going to give this a four point seven five. Um, you know, Garden State is back. If you guys are writing them off, don't write them off. Um, they, uh, they've been planning this stuff all year. Um, while this is only available for medical right now, I'm sure it'll be available for rec too. So everybody out there can get that, um, get theirs. And, uh, but I really love this strain. Let me know what you guys think of it. I don't know if you guys had a chance to try it. I don't know if you guys noticed what's going on over at Garden State, um, but uh, definitely worth a try. Another thing I wanted to mention to you, too, is that they have a, um, a rewards program. So I don't know if you guys are participating in that, but um, I signed up for it months and months ago at the top of the year. And I don't really go to all these places you know, every week. I, I spread it out a little bit, but I forgot about the rewards and I checked my rewards number and I'm getting about... $80 in credits from just, you know, maybe 10 trips this year, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. But, um, but that was quite the surprise. I was really stoked to see that. And I'm going to be enjoying that. And I'm very excited to be kind of reviewing a lot of their stuff now between the kind brand, between, um, this lit farms, these, these, these two groups are, are, are 
lights out and i um, very excited to see this stuff coming to the stage. So that's it for right now. Um, please um, share these videos with anybody who you think might benefit from them. Also, please uh, leave comments in the comment section about what you think of this strain here, fried ice cream. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. A lot of good stuff on there, a lot of stuff to digest. So um, we'll be back with more strain reviews. Got tons coming at you over the next few weeks here, coming weeks as we wrap up 2022, hopefully on a very high note. Stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out.